The lore and parfait will have to wait. Whoa, where is this? Also, this is a new this is new music. Holy shit! It only took 30 hours of gameplay to get this new music. Awesome. Anyways, Fritz is convinced the only place I will be safe is his house, and I am not in the mood to argue with him. I look around the modest living room. I didn't realize that you had lodging outside your room in the palace. I grew up here. I was, I was older than usual when I started training to be a knight, so I spent a lot of time in this house. He walks over and hands me a mug of tea. The comforting scent of it and the realization that he has made it precisely as they prefer makes something loosen inside of me. Fritz sits opposite of me, his eyes red bright his eyes bright and focused. Start at the beginning. Oh dear. Please, princess, I need to know in order to put my mind at ease. Okay. <sighs> One night. I was in the palace, and then the next morning, I was on the streets dressed in rags. I, t I tell him about no one remembering who I am, and about my first encounter with the men that Fritz fought, fought in the alleyway. I tell him how I was saved by those at the Martian. Yet, I say nothing about Dolor or Parfait, as I de and deliberately leave the identities of the Martian borders anonymous. I'm not sure why exactly, but I feel suspicion tugging insistently on me. How is it possible for someone to be unaware of their curse? Rampel has amnesia and even not, even he knows he's cursed. Good point. Fritz said that he's human. How can I trust him? I close my eyes and will the impending headache away. Maybe Mother was right. Maybe it is impossible to trust anyone, including one knight. And <laughs> what of your curse? Princess? Can I still trust you, Fritz? Fritz does not even bother trying to mask his shock. There is sadness in his eyes. When have I ever betrayed you, your highness? Fritz has been loyal to me ever since he was assigned to me. Fritz has been... Uh, but every person I've trusted has turned on me apart from mother. Even my beloved doll betrayed me. How can I be sure that Fritz will not do the same? I swore all my life that I would protect you, princess. I would never lie to you or do anything that would put you in harm's way. Cinderella, I have to complete three good deeds to break it. Cinderella, are you sure? That fairy tale is about... It's, uh, reversed my case. Oh. That's... that makes sense. What will you do now? Return to the Martian. I must break my curse. I can't allow that. Unless I stay at the Martian with you. What? Why? I've been wondering where you were this whole time, Princess. Trying real hard to find you. And now that I find you... Now that I found you, I must redo, resume my duties. I need to protect you, and I want to make sure you're safe by staying with you. You are no longer my knight, Fritz. You work for Emily now, don't you? I'm not her personal knight. I work in shifts with her uh, other guard, so I'm not expected to stay the whole day. Besides that, I'm your knight and I intend to fulfill that role until you no longer need my services. I fail to protect you from being cursed. Let me protect you this time, princess. Fritz is very capable. No doubt he will be able to protect me better than anyone else at the Martian. Save for Karma and the Waltz grown up. But who knows? How many people received the witch's note? The witch wouldn't even need to enter the Martian herself, so long as she has others there to capture me. No matter where I am, I'm not safe. Especially when I have no idea who can trust. Stay here. Stay with me. I'll be able to be with you. I can keep you safe. It won't be for long. Just until I can get you back to the palace where you belong. And how will you do that? 
No one apart from the curse, the witches, and the fairies remember that I am the crown princess. I still remember you. You must be cursed as well, Fritz. There's no other explanation. I would think I would remember it if I was cursed, princess. I would be in quantum agree. Even Rumpel, who forgotten everything else, remembered that he'd been cursed. But then, what could Fritz's fairy tale be? Red Riding Hood. I hadn't truly intended on staying with Fritz, but somehow the day passes by without me noticing. Before I know it, night has fallen. It is far too late to attempt to return to the Martian on my way now. Even if for some reason, Fritz allowed me to leave his house. You can stay in the guest room, princess. My father returns here at night, after his duties are over for the day. I'd almost forgotten. Sir Alcaster Leverton. Fritz's father and the commander of the Order of Caldera. I thought he'd have his own room at the palace like you do. My father never stays the night at the palace as far as I know. He always comes back to sleep here no matter how late he leaves the palace. Or how early he has to get up to return there. Good evening, father. Alcaster looks at me, then Fritz. Who is this? The weight of his stare makes me feel like looking away, but I manage to stare back at him coolly. This is Lucet. Oh shit, well. This is Lucette Riella Breton, daughter of King Gennaro Breton III, and the crown princesses of the Kingdom of Angiel. I am not in the mood for games, boy. This is the truth. I told you about her when she disappeared. That she being forgotten. Nonsense. She's been forgotten because of the fairy tale curse. Sir Alcaster's eyes are cold and ca calculating. I don't like the way he's looking at me. What is your fairy tale? I don't want to tell him. Sir Alcaster's gaze grows colder as his question is met by a long stretch of silence. I can only relent. I only relent when I see Fritz about to answer for me. Cinderella. I trust you will break your curse, princess. Sir Alcaster says nothing more, and I am surprised when he simply walks away into a bedroom and away from us. The door closes behind him, and Fritz and I are left alone. It'll make things easier if he believes us. I saw the look in his eyes. I doubt he believes us. That would be too simple. Wow, this is a really nice room. Oh, I like the painting and the dresser. Sleep does not come easily, even though his bed is significantly more comfortable than the bed at the Martian. What could Fritz's curse be? I sit up on the bed when I hear footsteps outside. I stare at the clock. It is almost two in the morning. You were late. I apologies. That's Sir Alcaster's voice, but I don't recognize the other one. Come, we have much to discuss. The sound of their footsteps, footsteps slowly fade and silence descends once more. I suppose being the commander of the Order of Caldera means that he's always busy, but working at this time of day or night? Soon enough, my exhaustion coax, coax me, coaxes me back into slumber. I close my eyes and let my desire to sleep win, me, win over my curiosity. It's true, she definitely takes over you know who. I heard that rather than speaking to people, she only speaks to her dolls. I can't believe that, she seems a little weird in the head. She's so strange. I can't believe she's going to be the queen one day. Oh, oh, good, good morning, your highness. P please excuse us. Despite my exhaustion, my sleep is brief with all the thoughts whir whirling through my mind. When I feel it is late enough, I finally step out of bed and make my way toward the living room. Sir Alcaster and Fritz are both there, but they fall silent at my entry. Sir Alcaster? Princess? Are you leaving for the palace? Yes. 
Will you be able to get the princess back into the palace? I will inform Mithros of the situation. Sir Mithros? But father, Sir Mithros won't. Mithros will work as quickly as possible to resolve this. In the meantime, she will be safe here, won't she? I'm standing close enough to Fritz that I notice his body posture stiffen. I see the way he clenches his hands into fists and the way he squares his shoulders. Oh, of course she is. I am her knight. Then there is no problem. You and Sir Alcaster do not seem very close. Fritz sighs. He looks somewhat flushed, though it doesn't seem to be any out of any embarrassment. Princess, I... Should I have not said anything? Yeah, let's change the topic. Never mind, it's not important. I'm sure you have your reasons. You can share them when and if you want to. Thank you, princess. Fritz clears his throat before he turns to me, his smile so bright it seems to light up his face. Would you like to get breakfast? I happen to know where the best baker in, on in all of NGO sells her croissants. The thought of croissants makes my mouth water and I'm out the door in seconds. What are you standing around here for? I'm hungry! We leave you that once then. Yo, croissants sound so good. Some jam, strawberry jam, or fruit jam, and a little bit of be uh, a little bit of butter. Sorry. <laughs> the shortest route to the bakery from Princess Hut lead us past the palace gates. Princess, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Fritz's voice fades into the background when I notice the royal family eating their breakfast outside. Emmeline sits underneath the shade of a cherry blossom tree, reading aloud from some book in her hands. Rod is smiling as he pours tea for all of them and Ophelia is looking on with clear love in their eyes for the family that sur surrounds her. The king laughs at something Emmeline is saying. He looks happier than I've ever seen him before. They... They truly are happier now that I do not exist with them. Father has never once looked at me the way he is looking at them. Did you know that when the best baker in NGL was offered a job in the palace, she turned it down? I am slightly startled when Fritz starts talking beside me. She did? Why? The royal garden wouldn't let her graze... Wouldn't let her graze her cows on the palace grounds. What? Best baker in NGL only makes with butter she makes from her own cow's milk. She wasn't allowed to bring her cows with her, so she refused his job. I don't believe you. This is true. I heard it from the head chef at the palace. I realize we have been walking as Fritz talked. The palace gates are well behind us and the royal family is thankfully out of earshot. Here we are. The variety of breads and pastries in the window of the bakery make my heart skip a beat. It's been a very long time since I have seen such delicious looking pastries. Pick anything you want, princess. Anything? Whatever you want. I know how much you like your pastries. Maybe I finally to see you smile. What? Go on in then, princess. I'll be right behind you. Fritz and I return to his home to eat our pastries. They truly are the breast... breast? They truly are the best croissants I've ever had! As we come to the end of the breakfast, Fritz turns to me in a hesitant expression on his face. Princess? Yes? I hate to say this, but I'm expected at the palace today. I'm afraid I'll have to... I'll have to ask you to stay here on your own. But... the people at the Martian... I was planning on returning today to explain why I haven't been back. But it's not safe for you outside. Look, I get it. But there are people I must see. I will not stay here for much longer. Can I really not change your mind about staying here? I know that Fritz can certainly keep me safe. But I cannot shake the feeling that I am safer at the Martian. Even if it means st having to stay with the witch that cursed me. When I do not answer, Fritz sighs and shakes his head. Very well, I will ask for a day off so I can personally escort you back to this. 
Martian. Tomorrow. S sorry. Take me back tomorrow. Tomorrow, then. Best friends. I spend the day looking around the house. This home is so impersonal. You'd never know two different people live here. Their rooms are so empty. Even though I have dolls in my room. As I walk about the living room, I notice a broom standing forgotten and alone in the corner. I suddenly remember the broom Delore enchanted for me. I don't miss that broom. But this one could definitely use a ribbon. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not something I expected. Not a comment that I expected. Out of all things that's happened in this game so far, that is not something I expected was said to say. Princess? Fritz, that was fast. I have something for you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what? The lower, what the fuck, man? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, that's so amazing. Her expression. She's like, are you fucking serious? What the fuck? I found this doll in my room in the palace. She's one of yours, isn't she? The Dolores doll is still in my room, but how? She's... I thought so. Isn't she one of your favorites? Oh, well, yeah, she... She was. Until she cursed me. How did she get into your room? No idea. Maybe one of the maids left her there. But I thought you'd like it if I brought her back to you. After finishing dinner, Fritz excuses himself to run more errands, so I return to my room. Earlier, when Fritz had given her to me, I threw Delora on my bed. Delora? What the fuck? Now I turn to glare at her, and on all at once, the doll comes to life with a sigh. Would you believe me if I said I was worried? I honestly thought you were going to act like you didn't recognize me. It made me happy that you said I was your favorite, Lucette. Well, you were my favorite. You wound me, princess. What are you doing here? Do you have any idea how... How worried Parfait was? And when Walt came back alone and told us what happened, well, Parfait and Anise went into hysterics. The boys and Yurian looked like they were going to commit murder. When you didn't come back that night, I had a lot of trouble convincing everyone to stay at the Martian when they wanted to look for you. Especially Waltz. You have no idea how guilty he felt after losing like that. They were looking for me? Princess. Why didn't you come to back to the Martian? Well, I was going to, but Fritz is... overprotective. I know it's not... Hush! Don't hush! I stop myself when I hear footsteps just outside the door. This is... Oh, this is entirely unnecessary. The walls have ears, Sir Alcaster. The two men walk away, leaving the hallway silent. That is just another one of Sir Alcaster's late night errands. But my words die in my throat when I turn to Dolor and see that she is eerily silent, her forehead furrowed. His presence. Delora? It's weak, but it's there. I can feel it. Delora, what are you talking about? Finally, Delora looks at me slowly, as if just now recognizing that we are both in the same room. This is bad. We must return to the Martian. Right now. <gasps> Yay! Revelation! Or never mind, we're still here. I watch as Delora paces on the floor alongside the bed. You're a witch, can't you just teleport us out here? Teleportion, teleportation and portals are high level magic that only the bears and a select few can cast. I look closely at her. 
So you can't cast the spell. I would have cast it already if I could, princess. I thought, with all the bluffing you do, that you'd be more capable! I don't know why she... Oh. Any more sass and I will turn you into a toad. You wouldn't dare. Or would I? I glare at her, but she does not look away. Arguing with... Arguing will not get us out of here. We need to get back to the Martian. Why can't we just ask Fritz to help us? It would have been easier that way. I don't understand why he can't just come with us. I don't trust him. Oh, that means nothing coming from someone as untrustworthy as you. Well, I can say with certainty that I'm the most trustworthy person you have right now, dear princess. And I can also promise that you're not safe here. Then I insist that Fritz come with us. I know he has the curse, which means he should be welcome there. Now, until I can prove that he can be trusted, he is not welcome. He might be the same as Alcaster. The moment Men the Lord mentions Sir Alcaster, she suddenly stops speaking. She shakes her head and turns away. What does Sir Alcaster have to do with any of this? Not uh, nothing you should concern yourself with. You're still the most suspicious one here, witch. That's it. I've run out of patience. Toe time. I'm done waiting around, princess. We're going back to the Martian right now. And how do you suppose we sneak? We s we'll sneak past. Pa and how do you suppose we'll sneak past Fritz? The Laura smiles at me. The mischief in that smile is all too familiar. Oh no. I am a witch princess. We're gonna turn into toads and hop away. Never mind. I walk us alongside the Del Delora as we make our way back to the Martian. Delora now in her human form, humming cheerfully. How did we get past? Not what you were expecting. No. Sometimes simple is better. Why use a spell when a potion will do all the tricks? That's why she had to distract Fit. That's why I had she had me distract Fritz at dinner. Was the sleeping potion in his cup? Ah, perceptive. Yes, nothing can wake him up from his slumber. He is sleep. He is now sleeping beauty forever and ever. But will he wake up? Please, I'm a good witch. Remember, I don't do the killing thing. I mean, technically, sleeping does not mean he's dead. She'll just be sleeping for centuries. Don't worry about the details. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now pick up the pace, princess. We need a meeting to get to. We make it back to the pet Martian without incident. Yuri and Garland are waiting for us inside. As soon as they see us, they dart toward the door. You made it. We were worried that we might need to break in and get both of you out. Don't sound so surprised. I told you I could handle this. Then why did it take you so long to return here? Because someone was being stubborn and refused to leave without her knight. You weren't followed? Of course not. I'm very glad you're alright, princess. Fritz, uh, Fritz is my personal knight. The time I spent with him was the safest I've felt since I've been cursed. Felt mono... It felt more normal. I know he is dependable and will do whatever I ask of him. It is his job to protect me after all. I barely know these people. I would rather be with Fritz, but something about Sir Alcaster puts me on the edge. As you can see, the princess is perfectly fine. She hasn't thought at all though. Urian ignores Delora and fixes her gaze on me. We were very worried when you found suddenly disappeared, Princess. I stare at her, confused. What was there to be worried about? I was with Fritz. I know that the circumstances may not have been the best, but Fritz protected me. And I had plans to return to the Martian at some point. Why does anyone here care about what happens to me anyway? Where's Parfait? Well... She isn't here. She's been. She's barely been back since you left. What? 
Ever since we got your message that you found the princess, Lady Parfait had an absent from the Martian. She returns, but only very briefly. Does she say where she goes? No. Oh no. She won't answer even if someone asks. Just smiles that very smile of hers and says nothing at all. Drives me crazy when she does that. What is going on? So the fairy we need to see here isn't here. Great. I had thought I wanted to return here, but now that everyone knows I'm safe, it's return. It's fine to return to Fritz, isn't it? I feel uneasy being around so many people that are openly t keeping secrets from me. Then there is no reason for me to be in here. I can return to Fritz. No. You are in no position to order me around. I will go back and no one will stop me. I begin walking toward the door when I hear Dolores sigh heavily behind me. Alright, alright, keep your dress on. I wasn't planning on removing it. It's a figure of fucking speech. Oh, never mind. Look, just give me a few seconds, okay? I need to get some things and then we'll go back. Me? Don't even think about I'll let you go back alone, princess. I am left alone with Urian Garland. Are you really staying at Alcaster's home? I'd almost forgotten that Urian Garland had served under Sir, Alca Sir Alcaster's command when they were still in the Order of Caldera. Yes. The two former knights are uncharacteristically quiet, their expression dark. Is something wrong? Are you sure you're safe there, princess? Of course. Fritz has been my personal knight for the last three years. I know he will protect me no matter what. Just... Be careful around Alcaster. Did something happen between you and Sir Alcaster? I'd still be a part of the Ord of Caldera if it weren't for him. It was said that Yuri and Garland had been discharged for disobeying Sir Alcaster's orders, but... Is that the whole truth? He's a two-faced traitor. If I ever saw him again... Yurian. What happened? It's nothing to worry about, princess. Dolora told me the same thing. What exactly are they hiding about Sir Alcaster? She should be worried about it, damn it. Of all the people in NGL, she should be know what he is planning. Someone coughs. We turn to look and see Dolores standing there looking at us expectantly. What did I miss? Yurian was telling me about why she left the Order of Caldera. Was she? I have never seen Dolora glare at anyone the way she is glaring at Yurian. Eventually, the for former knight turns away. Let's go, Garland. Stay safe, princess. You too, Lady Dolora. You... Didn't you want to return to the knight's house? Why are you stalling now? You know something about Sir Alcaster being the reason for the knight's discharge, don't you? Yeah. Then well then, what are you why are you insisting on keeping it a secret? You lived in the palace before and heard the rumors. You're content with them. Why are you suddenly taking so much interest in all of this now? Because you the knights are clearly hiding something about him. Curiosity can kill a cat, little princess. Besides, none of this is important now. You have other things to focus on, like breaking your curse. What have you done these past few days, hmm? Nothing. That's what. It's like you want to remain Little Miss Peasant forever. Damn. The only reason I'm in this position is because of you, and you have nothing... You have done nothing to help me. Excuse me? All I've gotten from you is insult and snipe remarks. I have been trying my best, but you of all people should know how difficult it is for me. I stop talking at once. The f anger and frustration inside of me makes it m makes it difficult to form words. Delora has been with me for almost a year now. She should know how difficult it is for me to be good. But she never understood. 
She still cursed me. It is as if she's mocking me. I turn away from Dolora and head toward the door. Princess, wait! I have 